Okay, everybody can feel this one. It's so obvious. Oh. That she had it on. The vibration of the table yeah, as you're moving the, <laughs> it's kind of the whole the whole table was actually vibrating. Oh. Mitch, you gotta do something, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's had a chance to feel it now. So I'm just gonna work around that area and just again using that caterpillar technique so your hands your thumb's kind of flat and then rolling up and that allows you to kind of get the tissue down under and then when you roll up then you can really feel that that poppy end feel so there's the main spot right there and now that i've found it can you just concur that yeah. spot mitchell yeah it is yeah and it just kind of popped as i was just trying to pressurize it so i backed off when it popped so if I roll over the outside edge of the bubble, I want to get back on the bubble and I don't want it to roll away from underneath my thumb. So I just replace my thumb. That already feels better. Does anybody want to come and check and see if it feels less poppy? Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. It's just like jello. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's just soft. You don't, honestly, you won't get this kind of results unless you're in really good physical shape. You only, if your athletes will get good results with massage like this. Not if you're unhealthy. Okay. So you can't expect to get the same results with everybody. You have to be really fit, really active. Otherwise, it doesn't leave nearly as quickly. So when your body is fit and healthy, this stuff is easy to mobilize. But if you're not fit and healthy, it makes it way harder to get it out. Hmm. Right now, I'm using something called couple core so I can get a little bit more body weight into it. So I'm just pressing down with my hand. And then sometimes I'll use a little bit of vibration. It's kind of like a jackhammer, right? Just yeah. trying to get that vibration to break up that cement in there. And then yeah. it just popped right there. Mm -hmm. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mitchell. Thank you. You're welcome. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. Hey. It's both sides. Um, oh, you're the one with the both sides. Here, right. There, I think. Okay, let's start maybe. face down. And maybe, can you pull your shirt oh, yeah. up? It would be good to get uh, right on the skin if you can. And then over this way, just a tad right there. Perfect. Oh, the, the <laughs> muscles are so hypertonic. So this is very different. So this is not in, most of what you're gonna find is gonna be in the tendon, but Brady actually has it in his muscle itself. So just feel how taut the muscle is in here. That's the actual muscle belly and you'll feel it when you go over it. It's super tight. It's like a little ridge here, Malcolm. Oh, yeah. And then just, yeah. oh, see that withdrawal reflex, right? Yeah. And you weren't even pressing that hard. A little higher that I want you to feel it in the muscle because it's the first one that's actually in the muscle you mm -hmm. very seldom see what so that is actually a muscle, like a muscle, on the muscle it's the not a full contracture but what we call this is a hypertonic muscle yeah. so a muscle that's in spasm is like it cramps and you can't right. get it straight that's a that's a spasm that's temporary it goes away a contracture is when it's so tight it won't release and it's full-on contracture this is hypertonic and when it's hypertonic it feels like the tendons around it are really taut and the muscles kind of bulked up in the center. So that's what that is. So we want to find out why is that muscle doing that? So, oh my gosh, coming down into the tendon oh, and the yeah. tendon is so, <laughs> so hypertonic, like super, super bad. 
So I can only get about a pound of pressure before you hear that breathing, like he just did that out breath. Yeah. That's because it's so painful. He's having to use his breath to control the amount of pain. It's like literally one pound of pressure and it's already causing pain. And I could feel that because instead of being deep on most of you guys, it was really deep. This one here is right at that skin layer. So when it's in the top layer, it actually hurts more because those nerves carry pain to the brain faster. So if you know if something's hot or if it bee stings you. So your pain receptors in your skin are gonna carry a lot more pain experience than the deeper down ones. So now that the skin's starting to clear out a bit, I can get now two pounds of pressure. Yeah, now I can get three pounds of pressure. So it's already starting to go away. So now I can start to massage them like I was with you guys. There might be still other spots I have to work lighter. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna make this one go away because it's such a good one. Everybody <laughs> should be able to feel it. Right there. You got it right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pop, right? It's so, so hypertonic. Up a little higher, Michelle. Uh, I mean, yeah, Michelle. Michelle. Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm getting John Michelle and Michelle and John Michelle. <laughs> can I can I just check a second? It's more like this. So just try and do the drop and roll, and it's right there. Yeah, you're gonna get it right on. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So to work this out, like I'm going to have to do a little lymphatic drainage for sure because it's all the way up the tricep. So there's just, there's no way just working on that one spot. I have to just get some of this movement of the fluid up the arm first. It's like the river is backlogged. There's beaver dams. Yeah. So by working above it, you're getting all those beaver dams worked out. And then when you go to drain the actual inflammation, there's a place to go because you've cleared the river head. It's a lot less poppy, but you can get way more pressure on it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that feels wow. way looser. Okay, go ahead and lay face up. I'm not sure the front might like, interfere with the back, but go ahead and see if the back part of it feels better. It's the... the tricep part of it. Can't tell? It, de it definitely does. Okay. I usually, usually I can feel it all the way. Yes, it was all the way. All the way up. Okay. <clears throat> and this would like, relax your arm. So this is right in between the bicep and the tricep. That's the deltoid insertion right there. Okay. Yeah, right at the deltoid insertion. You feel it? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Right there. Right in between the yeah. deltoid and the bicep. Yeah. So this is just, this is a little harder to find, but go ahead and give it a try. It just feels like a little bit of fiber in there, a little bit of density, and just let them know if they're finding it. Like right. Okay, I'm pushing a little hard. Yeah. There? It just yeah. feels a little bit, yeah. instead of bumpy and lumpy, it just feels more like thick fibrous tissue. Yeah. Plus the muscle's pretty hypertonic as well. A little harder. Yeah. Remember to do the inchworm thing. So flat and then come up onto your thumb and yeah. roll. That's yeah. better. That's better. Yeah. That way you'll be able to feel it better because you'll get that popping mm -hmm. as you're rolling onto it. Yeah. Nice, Malcolm. That's how you tell you're doing it right. That's it right there? Yeah. Just, it feels thick, right? Yeah. Just a little bit firm and kind of like yeah. rubbery. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely right there. Yeah. So the, these are the muscles that move your hands. So these are the extensor muscles <clears throat> that actually extend your wrist and your fingers. 
and there's so many tendons through this whole elbow attachment all through here oh, oh yeah and <laughs> elbows elbows are very complicated because there are so many different tendons all through here and every single one of them feels inflamed so this is extension that's probably with the pick i don't know do you extend at the wrist at all because yeah. you have to come back up right yeah. and like so, going forward and back and yeah those wrist movements So if I had something like this and I had to work with this, I would want to get as firm a compression on it while I'm using it. So I would take a tensor and I would wrap this super tight while you're working, but only when you're moving it. We have um, these like tight wrist sleeves that I yeah. wear. It's like almost like a compression sleeve. I like tensor bandages better because you can be more specific with how you isolate the pressure. Okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah really bad super bad it feels like little tiny pieces of glass like if you can imagine tapioca pudding only it's glass balls <laughs> that's what it feels like in here so everybody see if you can feel what i'm talking about it's so finite but it feels like little pieces of sand almost crystals a little bit spongy because it's soft but it's kind of crystally at the same time right. right in there remember to Roll your thumb, so put your thumb flat and then come up onto your thumb and Push roll your thumb harder. into it. That's better. Yeah. Get the pointy part of your thumb into the area. Come a little lower, right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, feel you, you feeling a little crunchy stuff? A little, little bit, I'm Yeah. Not for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I feel something. Yeah. It's, it's, it? And again, the more it's you, hard to find, the more you massage it, yeah. it took me four years to learn how Push to listen. Harder. And also hard to get is to know when it's gone, but on your own body, uh, you'll know because it hurts and then it doesn't hurt when you're pressing it. Yeah. It's much yeah. easier to figure out on your own body where you hurt and uh, when so it's you gone. You just have to look for the area. You have to just yeah. keep on exploring. Because <laughs> you can't always tell where your pain's coming from. You just have to kind of like, oh, it doesn't feel right. And then just start palpating. And then when you find the spot that's tender, then just hold pressure on it. And then after you hold pressure, then the pain will be gone. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't say that I've never had pain in my life, but I've never lived with pain. Hmm. Like if I've had pain, I always massage right away. Like I'm such a wuss, I have to start massaging if it's a one, right? Cause I know it'll go away. Like I don't like pain. Yeah. And why I live with it when you can just make it go away with pressure. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. we... And taking those two seconds to massage other than waiting until the end of the day, thinking that pain's okay, just stop and do it right away. And then it'll be gone and then you can go to work and not have pain and not be causing more damage if you leave this stuff inflammation is bad for your body it will cause cells to continually drown and die rupture create more scar tissue more white blood cells will come in and it'll create a redundancy inflammation is really bad it's the cause of all disease right so you get it out and then you won't have to live with pain in your face <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that relieving like i'm it's so glad it's so killing me <laughs> right there oh yeah and there's it is it's sort of a sickly sweet it's like oh my god she's got the right spot i hope she stays there for a while <laughs> right it feels so good to have that pressure on it especially the right amount of pressure for the right amount of time if you press too hard too fast, it's just going to make the muscle jump. If you don't press hard enough, it's never going to go away. So you got to get that perfect pressure. Between threes and sevens is a good number to feel the pain. Anything beyond a seven is just going to make the muscles tight. Now that looks like a very different face. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to, starting to, feel didn't mean really to nice ruin now. the meditation there. I can feel it starting to relieve down in towards my hand. And I'm just feeling the bubble finally popping now after all that time. So it's just actually starting to release. So under my thumb, it feels like bubble wrap yeah. and the bubble's full. And then all of a sudden it feels flat and then you have to go, is it flat? Has it left yet? Right? Yeah. So you're, you're second guessing, oh, now it feels like it's gone. 
Now there's still a little part of it, just a little bit higher up. Right there. So I just moved up and over a quarter of an inch and we articulated another one. Yes? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there it's leaving. No, it just left. Well, maybe not completely. There's still parts of it. Okay, check it out. That feels way nicer. Nice. Now, what about... This one here? This under here. So now we're getting into the flexor tendons. These are the ones that curl your hand this way. So gripping motions. Oh. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. The, one of the bubbles just popped. I felt that. Oh, another big one just ahead of that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can, I can feel, as you were starting, I could feel the release the whole time. It was like, pain here, but I could feel okay, the... Releasing further down? Yeah. Cool. That was awesome. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah.